and welcome to this month's Dumbbox tutorial. I'm Kina and we're going to be building a How Truss Bridge, which is different from our last bridge, the Warren Truss Bridge. So if that's one you're looking for, go back a video. But if you're ready to start, let's go. What you're going to need today are your straws, the tape provided in your box, which is a little bit different than what we're using today, but it will work. Um, a tape measure and scissors. Step one, we're going to take two straws and we're going to build two of our bottom beams. So to do this, we're gonna place straws end to end and tape them together like this, so that you end up with one very long straw. Do that three more times and put them to the side. Once you have at least four of those bottom beams ready, you're gonna take two of them, put them together, and you're going to tape them in the middle and at the end so that they are double the length and double the width. And you're gonna to wanna to not tape them too tightly because then they'll squish and deform and that's not good. But you also don't want them to warp like this. Keep everything straight as possible. Awesome. So now you have one bottom beam for your bridge. You're going to do that on the other set of straws, so you'll have two, two bottom beams. These are your bottom beams. You can go ahead and put those off to the side until we're ready for them. But the next step for us is we're going to take four straws. These are about seven and three quarters inches, but we're gonna be working in metrics today. So when I talk, think about centimeters, not necessarily inches. We're going to measure five centimeters and cut 10 pieces of the straws into five centimeters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with this first one. I'm gonna note where the five is and I'm gonna cut on it. And I'm gonna use this as my ruler because I don't wanna have to go and use this ruler every time. Okay, so it's one and I'm gonna cut 10 of these and I'm gonna have leftovers from the ends of my straws which I can just toss. So now that we have 10 of our five centimeter pieces, I'm only gonna take five of them and we need the other five. So don't do anything with those, don't throw them away, just keep them in a different pile somewhere where you can find them. I'm gonna take my two bottom beams now and I'm gonna add these cross beams to the bottom. So to do that, I'm gonna line these up so they're about parallel and I'm gonna get some tape ready. The easiest way to do this is to line it up with the edge and just place it in the middle as straight as possible, like that. And connecting it to the other piece. Again, on the edge, A plus. And if you're worried about keeping everything nice and secure, you can just add a cross piece. And you're gonna add those cross beams, one in the middle and two on each side of it about uh, an inch or two apart for every single piece. So what we end up with is something that starts to look like this. And voila, we have our bottom beam of our bridge. So the next step we're gonna do is put this off to the side and we are going to cut our top truss. So measure out an 18 centimeter piece here. So we have an 18 centimeter piece of straw and I'm gonna use another straw and cut out about 10 pieces of six centimeter straw. Okay. We have 10 of our six centimeter pieces. I'm gonna take five of those. I'm gonna save the other five separate from my five centimeter pieces. I don't wanna mix those up. And I'm gonna tape these to my top beam. So the best way to do that is to put one piece on the back side. I line it up on the edge and wrap it around. And then, like we did in the other experiment, take another piece of tape and secure this in place by winding it as many times as you need to. So do that five times. So start with the two on the end, one in the middle, and then two in between. So now you have your first truss side and we're going to go ahead and repeat this with the other 18 centimeter piece and the other five remaining six centimeter pieces. 
Now we have our two truss sides ready to add our diagonal pieces to. To create the diagonal beams for our trusses, we are going to cut 12 pieces of our straws that are 6.5 centimeters in length and diagonally slanted when we cut them. So for example, I'm gonna go ahead and make the first nick at six and a half, okay, like that, but I'm gonna make sure that I cut off a slant. So it looks like this. I'm gonna do that on both ends and do that 12 times. We now have 12 diagonal pieces for our truss. The way we're going to add them to our truss is they are going to slant on one side and meet the other, such as this, hence the diagonal. And we're gonna tape them in place and you can go ahead and do them facing this way and this way, depending on how your arches are going. So I'm gonna set mine up on this piece of paper just so you can see, but they should look like this when you're done. Okay, I'm gonna tape those. Now we have two trusses. We have to add these to our bottom beam. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape it like so. It's kind of overlapping a little bit of every single piece of those bottom beams we added. And we'll add the second one the same way we add the first one. This is our truss bridge with both sides of our trusses taped to our bottom beams. The next step is for us to use the remaining five five centimeter beams that we made in the beginning of this video and tape those across the top of this to kind of balance everything out. Now just a disclaimer, we are working on this um, while we're filming and so it is not perfect. Yours will probably look a lot nicer and the tape you're using is a lot clearer. So mine is no indication of beauty, but let's keep working. For the final step, we're going to use the remaining four diagonal cuts of the trusses we made earlier in this video, and we're gonna tape them to the top truss and the bottom beam so that they end up looking like this, one on each side, and then we'll be done. Ta-da! Did it. So if you wanted to add force and weigh things on this, like I'm not breaking this, this is just the tape dispenser in all of its glory. Obviously, you're gonna wanna test this at home and try different things. It may help to find something big and flat to put on top, because this can be a little bit wobbly, but test it, see how much weight you can put on this. If you have a kitchen scale or a bathroom scale, try weighing things and being quantitative about this and writing down the measurements every time you add something new. We don't have time for that today. We might in the outtakes do some big weighing on this and see how much it can take, but I am pleasantly surprised at just how strong and palatable this bridge is. So thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Kina. We built a How Trust Bridge today, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Thanks so much. Bye. It wants to balance so badly. Try. Ready? Set.